the day I was born, I was driven home in a, in a truck. Our family's always been farming, agriculture, uh, outdoorsmen, hunting. Uh, we've always had a truck. Uh, we've had trucks with campers on them. We've had trucks with camper shells on them. We've had trucks with toolbox on them. There is a huge team that's working on this, this truck for Nissan. A lot of us started out in the same place. A lot of us started out in Durability Reliability Group when we started in Nissan. And we've moved around to the powertrain group or the chassis group or the NVH group. But one of the foundations that we had was working on quality. We're going to fight for what the customer wants to make the best product we can. We're going to fight for the quality. And they do get that opportunity when they say, you know, if I had to do it over again, I would do this. And now they get to do it. Starting out, La Jolla, California, Southern California, great design team, a lot of inspiration, a lot of forward thinking. They really knocked it out of the park to start off with. The engineering side and in, in, in Farmington Hills, Michigan, these guys have been biting at the bit to get their hands on the full-size truck again. The test center down in Arizona, they put together off-road courses and durability courses specific for not only the U.S. but other global markets. And then, of course, we're manufacturing in, in Canton, Mississippi, and we've been doing that since 2003 on the Titan. They know how to build trucks. From the powertrain side, one of them is coming out of our own Deckard plant. Our V8 gas engine is coming right out of our Deckard plant in Tennessee. And then we have also have the Cummins engine that's made in Columbus, Indiana. So all the aspects of this vehicle have been centered around making sure it stays right here in the U.S. because that's where the expertise is for full-size trucks. Probably more towing than, than what most people need for half-ton trucks. We're always focus grouping people. Whether I'm going to the, 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 the grocery store or going to the hardware store, if I see a guy with a truck, I'll just start a conversation with them. And it's just more of a, hey, that's a pretty nice truck. And, and what do you like about it? What don't you like? Those little back of the tailgate discussions really give us the key insight to the customers and what they want because they're being very frank and honest with you at that time. It's an evolution. I mean, the first generation came out with a lot of key selling points on the vehicle. We were first in class with the spray and bed liner. We were the first in class with the wide open second row door for a uh, King Cab model. And there was a lot of bed innovations. The channel systems that you see out there today, we were the first to have that. The damp tailgates to make them easy open and close tailgates, that also came from us. And the bedside storage, these were also key innovations on the original type. But our strategy for our diesel engine is to not only center on better fuel economy, but we also have to deliver on the performance of a diesel engine where you get a lot of tenacity when you're uh, accelerating or you're on grade climbs. It's that feeling that the, the engine always has more to give. You've never run out and hit the kind of top of the torque curve or top of the peak. It's just always wanting to give you more when you ask for it. When you look at this truck from the front, you know something big is lurking underneath that hood. And, and, and one of the things that we wanted to have is a, a feeling or a presence when somebody stood by it that this thing is strong, durable, it's going to do everything I want and more. The big surprise is also going to be when they drive it. That's when they're going to be hooked and say, this is my next truck.